The Minoans of Crete are famous to us all as the first advanced civilization in Europe, thriving in the second millennium BCE. This wealthy society, which prospered through trade and seafaring, left a lasting impact and legacy with its art, architecture and economic system which were all the most advanced of its time. One of the most recognizable Minoan civilizational features, however, is the highly prominent status of women, which apparently sat at the top of their society, which was unheard of in any of the ancient cultures that came before or after the Minoan Cretans. In this episode, we will analyze and talk about the Minoan women, as well as the possible existence of the matriarchy in the Bronze Age society of Crete. The society of the Minoan civilization is unique in many ways, and yet its hierarchy still remains somewhat of a mystery, as the writing system, called the Linear A, remains undeciphered to this day. What we do know is that the ancient Minoans came to dominate much of the Aegean Sea and the surrounding coastal areas through their trade and commerce, which they held in a much higher regard than war and conquest, which otherwise served as the traditional means of achieving hegemony in the ancient times. Another thing that differed the Minoans from most of their contemporaries was the prominent role and status of women in their society, which although still not fully understood in the absence of the deciphered records, according to the scholars varied from sacred and religious roles to the leading political authority or even a matriarchal system. The Minoan Cretans were very religious, and it is more than possible that the religious officials held significant political power as well. The central deity of the Minoan religion was the so-called snake goddess, an imposing female figure holding a snake in each hand, usually accompanied by servants and mythical creatures, such as the Minoan genie or griffins. It also appears that the sacred and religious roles were mainly performed by the Minoan priestesses, which were accompanied by both male and female servants, as depicted in numerous paintings and frescoes. Furthermore, unlike the contemporary cultures of Egypt, Mesopotamia and others, the Minoan art was not dominated by kings or imposing male figures. Wars and battles are also notably absent from the Minoan artistic depictions. Instead, most of the paintings, frescoes, discs, seals and other features of art are rather focused on the beauty of nature, animals, mythological creatures, sports and religious rituals, as well as women, usually in colorful and lavish appearances. In one of the most famous frescoes, an imposing female figure is presented at the center of the painting, either a goddess, a priestess or perhaps a queen, accompanied by a number of male servants on each side. On the other hand, the frescoes depicting men as central figures usually do not have them surrounded by servants or assuming the dominant roles, but rather performing in sporting or ritual events, or assuming more of an entertaining role such as singing, as shown in the famous Minoan Bard painting. One notable exception in male representations 
is the so-called Prince of the Lilies, a fresco from the capital city of Knossos, representing a Cretan noble wearing what is believed to be a crown. Many scholars remain divided whether the prince was actually a Minoan king, a winner of an athletic competition or just a member of the Minoan royalty. The role of men in the Minoan society certainly depended on their social standing, with the lower classes being employed in different kinds of labor, while the upper classes and nobles practiced sports, art and various administrative and political duties for the palace centers. Men were also responsible for the security of the Minoan society, which did include military. Although war was not something that was widely celebrated on Crete, and the depictions of battles are extremely rare, the Minoans did need a military structure in order to defend themselves against the potential enemies. The Minoan military, however, was mostly focused on sea rather than land, with the Cretans likely maintaining a strong navy that controlled much of the Aegean Sea. The Cretan women obviously did not participate in wars and battles. Besides the leading religious roles, women were also likely in charge of their households, responsible for raising the children and managing the domestic matters. That women, and not men, served as the heads of their households also appears to be the case later on among the inhabitants of ancient Lycia that contained the so-called Termili, the settlers that had arrived to Lycia from the island of Crete and mixed with the indigenous population. Greek historian Herodotus mentions the customs of the Lycians as being partially Carian and partially Cretan. Among the Cretan customs, Herodotus records the following. One custom they have which is peculiar to them, and in which they agree with no other people, is that they call themselves by their mothers and not by their father. And if one asks his neighbor who he is, he will state his parentage on his mother's side and enumerate his mother's female ascendants. If a woman who is a citizen marries a slave, the children are accounted to be of gentle birth. But if a man who is a citizen, though even if he were the first man among them, have a slave for a wife or concubine, the children are without the civil rights. Although it is still difficult to fully determine the system of government of the Minoans, whether if it was ruled by a king, a queen, an aristocracy or perhaps a theocracy, it is definite that women were more than prominent in the Minoan society, and it is entirely possible that besides leading religious and social and household roles, the women also played a crucial role in the Minoan politics. After all, the Minoan civilization was highly religious, and besides the main deity being a goddess, it were the Minoan women that assumed the most important religious roles. And where is religion, there is power, and it is more than evident that in the society of the Minoan Crete, the women held more authority than in any other civilization of its day. Please consider subscribing and sharing the video, as this is a one-person production and it greatly helps the visibility of the channel. Special thanks to History with Sai, Nico, Panayotis Yanopoulos, Fred Lecky and Estate Care for their continuous support. If you wish to become a Patreon member, please click the link in the video description. This was 1XTV and we'll see you again soon.